The purpose of this video is to provide basic information about the installation and service of Power Packer cap tilt components. The cap tilt system consists of a hydraulic cylinder which raises or lowers the cab with two latches that lock the cab in the down position and release when the cab is raised. To operate the system, the cylinder is connected by flexible hoses to a reservoir and manual pump. Before starting any service on a truck, please consult the truck manufacturer's instructions and take appropriate precautions and safety measures. To safely service the truck, the cabin should be in drive position. To tilt the cab, ensure that there is adequate clearance in front and above the cab. The engine must be switched off, the handbrake applied and in park position, the grille open, the doors closed and the gear lever in neutral position. Check inside the cabin to make sure everything is stored safely before tilting. Prior to removing and replacing any parts from the cap tilt system, the system needs to be depressurized at the hand pump. This can be done by turning the control valve up and down and then removing the filler cap. It may be necessary to remove some exterior parts of the truck to access the cap tilt system. For the purpose of this video, we removed extra exterior parts to better show the exchange of the cap tilt system. After these preparations, the hand pump can be dismounted and removed from the truck. Before disconnecting the hoses, identify the ports they connect to so you can reconnect them correctly. When disconnecting the hoses, oil leaks might happen. Be prepared to contain any oil coming out of the system. The protection caps on the new hand pump can be used on the old hand pump to prevent oil leaks. Depending on the truck brand, our cap tilt system may have a quick connect system. If applicable, the couplers need to be removed from the hoses. New couplers are pre-fitted on the replacement hand pump. Now the new hand pump can be put in place, the hoses can be reconnected and the pump mounted into the socket. Follow the recommendations of the truck manufacturer if and when torque needs to be applied. Now the cylinder can be dismounted and removed from the truck. Before disconnecting the hoses, identify the ports they connect to, so you can reconnect them correctly. When disconnecting the hoses, oil leaks might happen. Be prepared to contain any oil coming out of the system. The protection caps on the new cylinder can be used on the old cylinder to prevent oil leaks. Prepare the new cylinder by checking the bushings and spaces and greasing them before mounting. When a cylinder cover is available, this needs to be reused on the new cylinder. Now the cylinder can be mounted and the hoses reconnected to their original positions. Follow the recommendations of the truck manufacturer if and when torque needs to be applied on the cylinder mounting bolts.
After replacing any part of the cap tilt system, the oil level in the system needs to be refilled. Only use the types of oil recommended by the truck manufacturer. Check the oil level in the hand pump reservoir and fill it up if necessary. The oil level can only be checked when the cabin is in driving position. It should be visible in the hole beneath the filler plug. A final check needs to be done to ensure there's enough oil in the cap tilt system. First, start pumping the cabin downwards while already in downward position before making a full cab tilt cycle. This will clear any air from the system and ensure enough oil in the system. Check the oil level again and add oil if necessary. Now the filler plug can be closed. Please check the user manual provided with your product to ensure the correct filling process. Here we show the procedure for our most common cap tilt system. This procedure might be different for other systems. The service and replacement of parts is complete. Any parts removed from the truck can now be reinstalled. If you'd like more information about PowerPacker cap tilt products, please contact us at powerpacker.com.